everyone, welcome back to my channel Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. Now this is actually a subscriber request video and it's around one of my other favorite subjects other than wealth and wealth creation and that is minimalism. Now when we have the right habits, the right attitude and the right mindset when it comes to decluttering our home and embarking on that minimalism journey and maintaining it, we continue to receive all the amazing benefits and blessings that come from this amazing lifestyle choice. And this is exactly what I want to talk to you about today. So for this video, I'm sharing with you my personal habits that I incorporate into my own home that help make me continue on progressing with my love of minimalism and take it to the next level. All right, habit number one, and that is to have a no junk mail sign on your letterbox. Don't even let that junk mail come into your home. It's also a waste of resources and really bad for the environment. If you need to find a particular service or restaurant or menu, you can find it online. Habit number two, and that is to put most of your kitchen appliances away. Keep your surface spaces nice and clean. This will mean cleaning your home is so much quicker, so much more enjoyable, and almost a little bit harmonious. Of course, you might have one or two special appliances that you use every day and you really love using. They're fine to have them out on the bench top, but make sure you have at least 80% of your surface spaces clean and fresh. Habit number three is to not squish and squash all your clothes into your wardrobe. Create space. Make sure you can see between your clothes. Now by doing this, there are a whole range of benefits. Number one, you can actually see what you own and what you have and also what you need to replace or what you're missing. It also saves you a lot of time. It means your clothes are not squished and squashed and crumpled and need to be ironed again. And for me, when I open up my wardrobe space and I see my clothes hanging neatly and nicely, I feel inspired to put that little bit more of effort into my outfit when I get dressed each morning. Habit number four, and I always do this on like an obsessive compulsive way, but whenever I go upstairs or downstairs, I always take at least one thing with me that needs to be put away. And I consciously make that time really efficient and count. So I'll take down a glass of water from a bedroom or I'll take my shoes back upstairs and put them away in my wardrobe. I'm constantly working at decluttering and keeping my space and home organized and neat and tidy. Habit number five, and this is actually my hardest habit to maintain. I have to consciously make an effort to do this every day, and that is to make the bed. Now, when I first started my YouTube account, I shared with everyone I hated making my bed, and I never did do that. Well, I've changed, I've grown. And I have to say, making your bed every day, when you come home at the end of the day, you're ready to bed, it's actually a really nice feeling to see a nicely, neatly made bed. It's welcoming, and also it signals it's time to go to sleep, relax, and recharge your batteries. But also, it makes a room feel a lot more tranquil and calm. Habit number six, and that is to keep a clean sink. I know if I am in someone's home and I've had like a, I've used a plate or a knife or a cup and I go to their kitchen sink and it's overflowing with dirty dishes and pots and pans, I'll just like sneak it in there and walk away and not do anything about it. But on the other hand, if I was to put that cup into a sink that had was absolutely spotless with nothing in there, I will feel the pressure or the motivation to make sure I personally clean that cup, dry it up and put it away. Create clean spaces so it inspires other people living in the home to also want to maintain that space. When we have messy homes, we can get away with being messy. We let our mess just infiltrate into the other mess and there's no accountability. And often this can then compound things, the anxiety that comes from mess getting bigger and more out of control. And then the final seventh habit to maintain minimalism in your home, and that is to look at the products you're using. Employ a just-in-time approach. Do not have multiple like tubes of toothpaste going or multiple moisturizers or deodorants. Just have one going at one time. You'll create so much more space in your cabinets You'll also find that you save money and it will mean that you'll be a lot more organized in knowing when your deodorant or moisturizer or whatever the products you're using are running low because you'll put it on your shopping list and make sure you stock up when it's ready to be replaced. Now remember, minimalism is a journey. 
it is something that we, we constantly go through ups and downs. We may get triggers, we may get confrontations, we may get blocks, old habits may die hard. But when these things happen, it's actually a blessing and a great opportunity to go to the next level, to grow through this, to understand more about yourself and actually reap more benefits from incorporating this lifestyle into your home, heart and mind. For me, occasionally I let things slip and when my home looks like a bomb has exploded and things are just messy again and I feel overwhelmed and anxious, I try and hold in my mind the space that I'm trying to create, that feeling of what minimalism means to me, which for me is clean surfaces, space, a tidy, neat, organized home. And I use that as motivation, inspiration to go and create that so that I then quickly start putting things back where they belong, getting rid of things, throwing things out, getting back on top and it's a really satisfying feeling once it's all done. I feel like order has been restored back into my home again. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And if you like my minimalism videos, feel free to check out my minimalism playlist. I have so many videos and it's growing all the time. And thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Have a great week guys.